last um, month we had uh, a discussion about check two and I wanted to go through with a group uh, how check two is not a Lee from any syndrome gene and again I know there was a paper uh, in the late 90s that kind of alluded to being a Lee from any syndrome gene but then there have been subsequent papers that have refuted some of these findings. But again, we're happy to share the papers with you all for anyone that is interested. But I just wanted to go through the data with you just very quickly, because um, I think it's important. So this is the paper that I'm talking about. So back in 1999, this was a paper focused on three TP53 negative families. One had classical Lee from Ani syndrome, and it was the 1100 Del C mutation, the one we see most commonly. And two were Lee from Ani syndrome like families. And I've included the CHECK2 mutations or CHECK2 variants that each of these families had. So you can see here, this is the classic family. And what this was based on was with this 1100 del c mutation the there were two uh family members here who had had who had been positive for the um 1100 del c uh in addition to sorry this uh positive sign should be on the next patient so the 37 year old was positive and then the person with histiocytoma at age 32 was positive. Um, the mother with bilateral breast cancer had been positive, again, for the 1100 del C mutation. And then there was this unaffected family member who did not have a cancer diagnosis. So based on this data, this is taken directly from the paper, shown that heterozygous germline mutations in CHECK2 occur in Lee from Ani syndrome, highly penetrant family cancer phenotype usually associated with inherited mutation. These observations suggest that CHECK2 is a tumor suppressor gene conferring predisposition to sarcoma, breast cancer, and brain tumor. So that's the paper that suggested there may be an association. So this was subsequently published in 2002. Um, of these, so this is what this paper outlines. Of the three TP53 negative families that were originally published on in 1999, one had the classical Lee from Ani syndrome, um, again, identifying two breast cancer patients and one with benign histiocytoma, two were Lee from Ani syndrome like. So, again, with these other two, these look like they were not even mutations per se. One of them was a polymorphism in the Finnish population. The other one is a variant and homologous fragment of gene present on chromosome 15. So based on this data, what they concluded is it is very unlikely that CHECK2 is an alternative Lee from Ani syndrome susceptibility gene. So another paper came out in January of 2008 and in this, what was interesting is this original proband that had been negative developed breast cancer in her 30s. So again, when you look at this classic family, there is someone that had tested negative that had not, that did not have the 1100 del C. So the other data that's really important to keep in mind is CHECK2 1100 del C is present in about 0.7% of Northern European populations. The frequency of Lee from Ani syndrome is about a hundred times less frequent. So again, if Lee from Ani, if CHECK2 1100 del C was truly a gene associated with Lee from Ani syndrome, you'd expect to see a lot more of it. Um, there's also been detailed analyses of additional CHECK2 families. And at this point in time, there's no risk identified for Lee from Ani syndrome associated cancers other than breast cancer. So again, you can see the message in this paper, it is no longer reasonable to consider CHECK2 mutations to be a cause of Lee from Ani syndrome. So again, I've 
tried to quickly summarize the papers that have come out subsequently, but if anyone wants any of this source data, because there's more information, there is some more information in these additional papers, we're happy to share them. We have them on file.